Let me see. Right there, see if it's all cracked up. It is on the bottom. See if it's all cracked hole. up. It's, if it's cracked up to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see now. Just move it off the road. There you go. I'll uh, just leave it on the side of the road. Yeah, there's a reason it's on the side. I, of the no, I fell out of somebody's truck, but I just don't want anybody having a wreck. Yeah. Over it. We did our Boy Scout deed of the day. The guy, the guy in the truck up there, he's like, "Y'all just threw that out, didn't you?" That's the danger of trying to help. Sometimes you get in trouble. Well, Baron, I got worried about the bees last night. So, yeah. It got pretty cold this morning. 20 something. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy Ace Hardware and the roofing supply and get um, a roll of 30 pound felt. Huh. And we're gonna create a windbreak around it. And a moisture barrier. And ice and, ice and water shield. We ought to get, a, <laughs> we ought to get a, an expensive roll of ice and water shield. That's the membrane that we uh, glued down. We don't glue it down, it's self adhesive. It's, you can pull the back off of it and it sticks down to the roof decking. We put it around all the edges hmm. of our roofs to keep uh, uh, ice damming. Like, like when you have a snow, the gutter, all the snow and ice build up in the gutter and it wants to run back up oh. under the edge of the roofing. But that's like a hundred dollars a roll, so let's just get a thirty dollar roll of felt <laughs> since we're gonna take it off in the spring. What do you reckon is going on there? I don't, I don't think I don't think this is supposed to be this way, man. Look, the handle's off. I bet it's frozen. That's all the way down. Something is busted. There's a meter. That's the meter up there. Yeah, I'll call Tyson. Maybe we can turn it off for him. <laughs> it's like, uh oh, what's that mean? <laughs> Did you get it? Yep. So. Is it still spinning? Raise up a little. Oh, crap, man. Nope. Okay, good. Sucker was spinning pretty bad, wasn't it? He's going all over the I don't know how much water came out a bunch. I don't know when it froze. It had to be last night. Anyway, we got bees waiting on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I see a bee. Yeah. Good going, guys. Hey, there's one coming back. They're flying. Look at that. Yeah. That's cool, ain't it? Uh, <laughs> Guess I shouldn't stand in front of the door. On your shirt. Is he? Yeah. yeah. I'll be all right. That's two Boy Scout moves in one day. Do you uh, realize that? We cleaned off the street. Doing our deeds. And we turned off a leaky water meter. <laughs> oh, it's going to be three. Now we're going to make the bees warm. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? 30? It was, uh, was it 30 degrees? What, this morning? That's 20. More like 20 something. Yeah, but right now it's probably what, 35? Yeah. Anyway, this is 30 pound felt. We're gonna cut this off straight. Don't use, well, I say I'm not a, I'm not a dictator, but I would suggest not using 15 pound felt because 15 pound felt is wimpy. When you staple through it, this is gonna shrink up when the sun hits it and it'll pull the staples through so you want to leave this kind of loose not loose but not not tight and just staple through it and then what we'll do we're we'll gonna take some one row gorilla tape and go all the way around it that'll really hold it now what this is going to do is it's going to soak up this heat you notice i've got the high facing south 
that black felt's gonna soak up the heat and hopefully radiate past, you know, when the sun goes down a little bit. But it'll also not be as loud as Tyvek. You asked me why we weren't using Tyvek. Yeah. Because when the wind whips it, it would be, I'm sure that would be annoying. If I was living in there, I'd want to move. <laughs> so this won't move around. It won't make a noise when the wind hits it. We can't figure out if they're disoriented or if they're just sitting in the sun. <laughs> a couple of them have flown around the hole, but they haven't gone in it yet. I'd like to see a couple go in there. Well, Barrett, now we got a party going on. Uh, they're probably just a little disoriented, but I tried to make that opening for the hole as big as I could. What I'm trying to do is create a windbreak from wind going under the hive. I think that's one of the false, false, the bad things about top bar hives is the wind whipping around underneath them. You see so many people opening up their hives in the spring and have to have dead bees. I think they're just freezing to death. I know these bees aren't going to starve to death. If they die, it'll be a, from freezing, not starvation. They had six or eight frames of honey. Well, six anyway. And then when they've got a feeder in there. They had built up pretty good, hadn't they, Barrett? Yeah. Well, you can see that in our last video when Derek was here. We were going to put a piece on the roof to seal off the cedar shakes to keep ice from, you know, water from getting down in there and freezing. But I have a piece of synthetic felt, which is a lot better than that felt. It's like a, it's like a Tyvek for the roof. Wait a minute. Yeah, I didn't think it was going. Dang, the phone wasn't going, the camera wasn't going. Oh my God. We just filmed a whole segment. Uh, <laughs> Let me see, let's get over a little bit better. I was talking about the, um, where's my finger? There it is. Uh, I was talking about the synthetic felt that's under the, the shakes. Oh, uh, weird, yeah. The blue, it's blue, it's like a woven fabric. It's like Tyvek for your roof. And that's what we use on all of our projects when the cheapo contractors use this felt that's on the face there, it, it'll tear. Uh -huh. And it'll shrink up really bad when the sun hits it. So right now the bees seem to be warming themselves <laughs> out there. Are they getting reoriented, Barrett? Calming down. We say that, and then we gotta. They like your shirt, though. Yeah. Dad, you need to get out of there. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. We should we should have fired up the smoker, but I was thinking it's gonna be too cold. Well, why don't we save this piece that goes on the roof for next time? We're not supposed to get any weather for like a week, so it'll be fine. Cold weather. So it was like 36 degrees. Now it says 44 hmm. when we drove up. You can tell it's warming up, yeah. Yeah, so. I feel better out there. It, I wonder, you wonder at what point the bees say, no, we're just not gonna fly. You know, I guess it's closer to freezing, yeah. I guess. But um, there apparently was a, a few bees out, <laughs> out foraging because uh, not all, most of those bees you saw flying around. At one point, there were more than even we showed on video. Um, are we clear that way, Barrett? Uh, they all, they were all coming back yeah. and they seemed to be disoriented a little bit, but then they got, uh, they all pretty much got in there by the time we left, so. So Barrett, you feel better? I do. Uh -huh. I think if it gets down to 20 something tonight, be they'll be fine just to keep the wind breaking the wind is a big deal you know i've been out backpacking and camping when i was young when i was your age <laughs> we would go i mean almost every, every weekend and the wind if you could just keep the wind from whipping around you know keep the wind off of you it didn't really matter what the temperature was you could yeah. pretty much survive and that's all i was trying to do there and it's funny because they were coming out, the sun had already kind of heated up the felt and they were just kind of sitting on it. I started worrying for a yeah. minute that they were all going to come out. That was interesting. <laughs> it was like, I don't know, two, three hundred bees out there at one point. Maybe not that many, maybe a hundred bees. Yeah. But uh, 
they'll start going back in. So I'm just imagining that they're reorienting themselves. They're actually going to try to move the hive at some point. Uh, I need to do it before the spring buried uh, comes. So we got to make that decision soon. Anyway, the video is long enough, isn't it, Barrett? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya. Nice.